Jim? Hey, Jim. What are you doing way out here this time of night? What? Who's that? No, it, it's Huck Finn. It's a ghost of Huck Finn come to haunt poor old Jim. Now hold up there, Jim. I ain't no ghost, but I'm sure glad you think I am. People in town must think I'm dead, huh? Why, well, Huck Finn, you is alive. Miss Watson and Miss Douglas and everybody, they all said your pappy killed you and throwed your body in the river. They out looking for him now. Do they know which way he's headed? Folks say they seen him moving south. Good, because I'll be headed up north in the morning. But what about you, Jim? Does Miss Watson know you're out here? Huck, she don't know nothing, except that I run away. You run away? Jim, don't you know she can have you shot? Why'd you do it anyway? Well, I can't tell you that, Huck. Not unless you promise not to turn in, old Jim. I can't never go back now. Jim, there must be something serious wrong with you if you think I'd turn you in to help that old Miss Watson out. Of course I promise not to tell. Huck, that old Miss Watson called me over this morning, and she told me she was going to sell me down the river, down to a trader in New Orleans. I'd die before I'd go down there. I surely would, but that ain't the worst of it. I heard tell that my wife and baby girl was living with a woman about 20 miles up the river. If I get sold down to New Orleans, I got no chance at all to see them again. I had to run, Huck. I just had to. Don't you worry, Jim. I ain't never gonna tell anybody about you. You know, I got a canoe on the other side of the island. I'm heading up river tomorrow. What do you say you come with me? Sounds mighty good to me, Huck. But these men aren't looking for me. I'll take care of that, too. If anybody asks, I'll tell them you belong to me. I'm mighty grateful for you for helping old Jim like this. Indeed I am. Huck and Jim stayed up half the night talking. Jim had skinned a rabbit early in the day and used it as bait on his fishing pole. Pretty soon he had caught the biggest catfish that Huck had ever seen. It was cooking on the fire when he first saw Jim. When it was ready, they both sat down to the best meal they ever had with plenty of seconds. Huck had a few hours of satisfied sleep and would have slept even longer, but Jim shook him awake at sunup. Hey, Huck! Look there! It was a little one-room shack. There were a lot of them up and down the river bank, but this one must have slid right off the shore in a mudslide because it was on a tiny piece of ground. It was floating right down the center of the river so peacefully that anyone might have thought that this kind of thing happened every day. Well, I'll be. It was still very early, so Huck and Jim took a chance and ran for the canoe. They paddled up to the shack and Jim went in, but he wasn't in for long. What's the matter, Jim? You look like you've seen another ghost. Uh, no, Huck, uh, but there's a dead man in there on the floor. Looks like he'd been shot in the back. No fooling. Anybody I know? Uh, uh, no, 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 Huck. Uh, weren't nobody special, but... Look here, I found us some more candles. Now, now, let's get away from here. I don't take too kindly to dead people, and that's a fact. 